Getting all four and five star Google reviews for your clients will help boost their rankings on Google Maps, which will help build their brand awareness and ultimately lead to them making more money. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the best way to automate Google reviews and get only four and five star Google reviews using the high level software. Here's a quick bird's eye view of the Google review system that I'm gonna be showing y'all how to set up in this video. So basically after a customer comes in for an appointment, they receive our products or services from our business or our client's business, they'll be sent to this survey right here. It says, you know, thanks for choosing our business. How many stars would you rate our services? If they select one, two, or three right here, it'll then take them to the second half of the survey, which then just asks for their first name, last name, and then if they how they can improve their services. So we'll just do like NA for now, and then they'll click submit and it'll just send this internally. So it won't allow this person to leave a Google review. Now, if we do this again, let me refresh this page, and the customer selects four or five, that means they thought pretty highly of the business, and so if they select four or five, it'll then redirect them directly to leave a Google review on this client's Google business profile. So that's the quick bird's eye view of how we get only four and five star reviews for our clients. I'm gonna show you all how to set up this entire Google review system in this video, but if you stay tuned till the end, I'll show you how to get the snapshot absolutely free. But if you don't wanna get the free snapshot, you guys can build it out as I show you in this video, no problem. So this is the reputation management snapshot. Reputation management in the high level world basically just means helping businesses get more Google reviews. So there's a few things we need to set up starting out with this snapshot. So I'm gonna go down to settings down here and then I'm gonna to go to custom values and we need to create two custom values. You're gonna do that by clicking new custom value. You're gonna name the first one Google reviews link or Google review link, either way. And then right here, you're going to grab the Google review link of your client wherever people leave those Google reviews. You can find that by going to google.com backslash business. It'll take you to this page right here. You'll click sign in. You'll sign into your client's Google review link or if they've already signed in, this is how they'll do it to send you this link. And um, then it'll take you to your Google business profile or your client's Google business profile. They'll scroll down to the bottom and then it says right here, get reviews. When they click this, it'll then populate this Google review link. So this is their Google review link for their clients to leave Google reviews for them. We're just gonna copy this and then we're gonna take that back into Go High Level, paste that in right there and then click create. I've already created mine and done mine um, for my Google business profile right here for my web juice business. Um, but you guys will do this for yourself if you're doing this for your own business or for your client with their Google review link. The second one is gonna be a, a custom value called survey link. So you're gonna go here, I'm gonna call this one survey link. And then for now, we're just gonna put survey right here. We're gonna come back and fill this one in later once we create the survey, which is gonna be really cool. I'll show you how it works, but you'll just go ahead and click create right there. And for now, you won't have this survey link like I have here. You'll, it'll just say survey under the value, but we'll come back and fill this part in later and I'll show you how it all works. Now we're gonna go hit go back and then we need to create under the sites tab, we need to create this survey that I was just talking about. This survey is pretty cool. If we click builder here, I'm going to preview this so you guys can see it. Basically, this is gonna to send to our clients after they have an appointment with us or they buy from our business products or services. It'll say, hey, thanks for choosing our business. How many stars would you rate our services? And then we have three or five different options. One, two, three, four, or five stars. So they can select how they, you know, how many stars they would give our business. If they select four or five, boom, it'll send them to leave a written Google review on our Google business profile. But if they select one, two, or three, let's say they selected one, it'll then just send them to the second half of this form and it'll say, you know, hey, what's your first name, your last name, and then how can we improve our services? So I'll just fill it in real quick with my info. Um, I'll just say NA and then submit, and that's all. It doesn't take them to our Google business profile to leave a Google review, because we don't want them to leave a Google review if they thought negatively of us, right? If they thought we were only like a one, two, or three star business, we don't want to take them to our Google business profile um, to leave a Google review. We would rather just leave it internal so that we don't get bad reviews on our Google business profile. So that's kind of how we only get those four and five star reviews. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set this survey up under the survey builder. So right here, we're gonna click this Google review survey for you guys. You would click add survey, start from scratch. I'm just gonna open up the one that I've already built. And the first slide you guys will see here, and click the plus sign up at the top left. The first slide is just a text box. So I just drag this text box, which is 
this blue box right here. It says, thanks for choosing our business. You can type out that message right here, whatever you want it to say, but thanks for choosing our business, I think is a good message. And then you have to add this field right here. It says, how many stars would you rate our services with all the five different star options? This one, you're not gonna find it in the fields here. You need to create a custom field for this one. So we're gonna click custom fields, and then we're gonna click add. For this one, it's gonna be a um, radio select right here. So you're gonna select radio select, next. The field is gonna be called um, customer rating. And then contact, we're gonna select contact group we're going to do general info because if somebody says we're one two three four five stars i'd say that's general info it's not going to be like main contact info like their name email or phone number and then this is where we can put those five different star options so the first one is going to be a one star the way that i got those stars because by default we don't i don't have like emojis on my laptop or on my not my laptop on my keyboard so i just grabbed these ones from uh from chat gpt i went to chat gpt and i said give me a one star emoji <laughs> populated it so i just highlighted it, copied it, pasted it in here. And then I did it again, you know, for two stars. I said, just give me a two star emoji, I copied that one, pasted that one in here, and you get the gist of it. Give me a three star emoji, pasted that one in, you know, four star, paste that one, and then five star. Might be a more efficient way to do this, but I'm just doing it to show you guys. So now we have all five stars options. And then we're gonna go ahead and click save. I've already saved mine because I obviously have it right here. Once you click save, it'll then under general info right here, you'll see this customer rating field that you've just created and you'll just drag it onto your form and it'll pop up just like this. So now we've got our five different options of stars people can select for us. And then next we're gonna click that little plus button here and add another slide. So now we have slide two. On slide two, we started out with just a text field at the top, which is this, you know, thank you for your feedback. So drag that onto there. Then next we did first name. So you'll drag first name, then last name. And then for this, how can we improve our services? We just dragged a multi-line text box right here. And then for that multi-line text box, we just renamed it up here. When we click on it, you can rename what it says, what the actual question says above it. So we said, how can we improve our services? And then for the placeholder, I just said type here. And so that's how you create that text box on the form. And then now we need to create the conditions. So if they select you know, four or five, we don't wanna send them to step two. We wanna send them to our Google business profile. We wanna send them right here to this link so that they can leave that Google review, right? And so we want it to go here if they select those four or five stars and we want it to go to the second step if they select one, two, or three. So we're gonna do that by selecting here. Over on the right, we have where we go after each of these is selected. So right here, you're gonna select part two, slide two, which is just slide two is where it'll send if they select one. If they select two stars, we wanna also send them to slide two. If they select three stars, that's still pretty negative. We only want the four and five stars. So we'll still send them to slide two. And then if they select four or five, we're gonna select disqualify immediately, which doesn't actually mean disqualify. I'll show you how this is set up here in a sec, but you're gonna select disqualify immediately for both four and five. And then to set up where this disqualify immediately goes to, we can go to these two little dots up here, styling and options, select options. And then right here, it says disqualify immediately click the drop down, and then instead of message, we're gonna send them to a specific URL when they're disqualified. So we wanna send them to our Google business profile to leave that review, because technically they're not really disqualified, but that's the terminology that Go High Level has here. And then we'll paste in our review link right here from our custom value. I'll show you, we'll go back and grab that real quick. So we'll go ahead and save this, paste in the review link here. Um, so we'll grab that from our settings custom values and that Google review link, as long as you put in the value for the Google review link for yourself or for your client's Google business profile, you can just click the little copy button right here. We can go back to that survey and then you can paste in, we're just gonna click here or click the two dots up here actually, options, and then we're gonna click disqualify immediately and then paste that in right there. I've already got mine here, but that's where you grab that and paste that in from. So now, if they select four or five, it'll send them directly to the Google business profile to leave this review, which is great. We only want those four and five star reviews, people who thought highly of our business. And then if they select one, two or three, it'll send them to this disqualifier, you know, just this 
intake form where it's like, hey, how, do, how can we improve our services? And that's where it ends. So that's how to set up that survey. Now that we've created the survey, we can finish that field that we were working on that custom field. You're gonna click Google Review Survey. We'll just jump right back into it actually. We'll click Integrate and then we'll click Link. And then we'll go ahead and copy this link for this survey. Now that we've copied that, go back out, go to Settings, go to Custom Values again. Now this survey link custom value we created, we can click Edit on and then you can go ahead and paste in the link to your survey right here, like I have mine, and then go ahead and click update. So now that we have that link in there, now we can use this in our automations that we wanna set up to send out these automated text messages after somebody has received our services or our client services. So that's gonna be where we'll go next, automations. The first one is gonna be if somebody books an appointment with us, right? This is what the automation will look like. So we have you know, appointment confirmation right here. If they, if they book an appointment on our website or on our calendar, that's what will trigger this automation. It'll send the person, the lead, a email saying, hey, thanks for booking your appointment for this day at this time. It'll send them a text saying the same thing. Hey, th thanks for booking your appointment. One hour before, we will then have this wait step. One hour before, it'll send them an email. Hey, your meeting is in one hour or your appointment is in one hour. And then it'll have this text message, hey, your appointment is in one hour. And then we have two hours after. So we've got a wait step that waits two hours after the appointment happens. So that's how this is set up here, just like this. Then we will send that Google review request or the survey first, right? To then hopefully get a Google review uh, request left. So it'll say, hey, John, thanks for coming in earlier for your appointment with us. We would be honored if you'd leave us a review at the link below as it really helps our business and then this is where we paste in the link to that survey, that custom value that we were just messing with. You'll get that by going to this button here, custom values, and then you'll click custom values and then survey link and it'll paste in your survey link to that survey where they can then leave however many stars they want and then it will route them either to the review link to actually leave, leave a good real Google review or it'll send them to the intake form to leave feedback. So. That's how that automation is set up. And then I set up one other automation for you in this snapshot, which might be useful if you have a customer, let's say they're a barber shop and they've worked with thousands of customers previously that have never left a Google review and they have a huge Excel file with all their names, emails, and phone numbers of all these old contacts. You can create an automation like this that triggers off of um, a tag being added. So we can import all of those contacts into high level that they have inside of the contacts tab right here. We can um, import those contacts by clicking here and uploading a CSV file or an Excel file with all those leads or those contacts. Once they're inside here, we can select all of them and then we can add a tag to them and we can call this like review, and I'll type review tag and then we'll select our Google review request tag and then click add tag. And when we do that, it'll send all of these leads a text message to leave a Google review. So we can do it in bulk of by like thousands at a time. And uh, this is how this automation works here. So let's call it reviews, reactivation, because we're reactivating a bunch of old leads or old customers that never left a Google, Google review to try to get them to leave a Google review for us. So it's triggered off by that tag. We just added this filter and said Google review request tag. Whenever this is added to a lead, we want to send them through to send this text right here. So we can do that in bulk. The SMS itself actually says, hey, John, we're doing a 25% or sorry, a 50% off discount for anyone who leaves us a Google review this week. If you'd be interested, please go through the link below. Thanks. And then we paste in again our custom value. We click here, custom values, survey link, and it'll paste in that survey link. And that's where they can go in and it'll take them to our survey. And yeah, so that's how the automation works. You want to really incentivize people like we did this 50% off discount if they leave a Google review, but we could also do like a, Hey, one person who leaves a Google review this next week will, get, will be entered in to win a $500 visa gift card. So you could do some sort of incentive, but you do want to do an incentive because if we're texting a bunch of old customers that have maybe haven't come in in a while to try to get a Google review, they need incentive to leave a review. They're not just going to take time and be nice most of the time. Some people are nice, right? But like a lot of people need some sort of push or incentive to leave that review. And so this works really well if your customer has a lot of old leads, old customers that we can then bring into high level and send these bulk review requests. 
because this is a great way to get a ton of Google review requests really fast for these customers, which will give them an immediate SEO spike on their Google business profile, ranking them higher, and ultimately building their reputation and making them more money. So one last thing I'll show you guys um, is gonna be down under the reputation tab. To get like the full benefit of all of this, we wanna integrate under the launch pad this customer's Google business profile. So they connect here, they'll log in, and then it'll be connected and go high level. And then they can manage everything from the reputation tab down here. They can see an overview of all the invites they've sent, review requests received from people, how people thought of them. So they can kind of track all their Google reviews and reputation under this tab here. See how many requests they've sent, all the reviews that have been left. They can read them live from inside of here. You can even create this widget here, this customer widget or testimonials widget that you can embed onto their website and it'll populate with all the new five-star Google reviews that have been left for this business right on their website live and it'll change as new reviews come in. And so you can just create a widget that you can install on those websites, which is really cool. So you know, that's how you manage everything um, for your clients or your clients can just come in here and manage it themselves and see everything that you're doing for them and everything that you're helping them with all of the key metrics right here. Thank you for staying tuned to the end of the video. If you want the snapshot that I built out for reputation management in this video, you guys can get it by signing up with my 30 day free trial link to go high level down below. If you sign up with my link, I'll jump on two free Zoom calls with you every week for life, answer any questions you have, help you scale your agency. And I have over $10,000 of free resources that I'll give you just by signing up on that 30 day free trial below. And if you've already signed up for high level, but you wanna to upgrade to the 297 or the 497 plan, you can upgrade with my my link down below and get the exact same free offer. And if you're just starting out in your agency and you need some guidance and some tutorial videos, you can access my free school community down below. It's called High Level Quest. It has my new free course in it that shows you how to build websites and offer automations and software to local service-based businesses. And it's just a great place to rub shoulders with other people who are building their agencies with high level. I appreciate y'all a ton. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.